In this video, we're going to take a look at a few exercises to help the wrists, the elbows, and the shoulders. So we're going to start out with exercises that are pretty easy and simple um, to start now, and a few exercises that you can build your strength and eventually um, use them so that you can really help uh, ease the pain, increase the strength and flexibility of the arms. I hope you enjoy it. If you haven't already, please click that subscribe button and um, let's get to the video. All right, so first make sure that you have a space where you can stretch both arms out. And so I'm going to lay here in the center of my mat and I'm going to keep my arms to my side with the pinkies on the floor here. So what I want to do is I want to inhale, when I exhale, I bring my hands out and I keep that pinky in contact with the floor and then bring the hands all the way back so that the two tops of my hands touch. And here bringing that skin on the back of the body down towards um, the sacrum so that I'm not bunching my shoulders near my ears and bringing that skin down and coming down. So I want to do three sets of 10 of these, inhaling, exhaling, releasing any tension in the eyes, the ears, and the throat. Here we start out with hands at the side, so pinkies on the mat near the body here. Inhale, exhale, bring the hands all the way up, nice and slow. So we're not going for speed, we're just really completing the movement. Take a breath in the middle. And the second part of this is bring the hands together with the thumb part of the hand down. So hands together above your head and thumbs are down onto the floor. Inhale, exhale, and then in this uh, palms together pose and thumbs down. And we're going to bring the thumbs all the way around and stop where, um, where you find any tension. So breathe here if there's cramping. And then keeping that thumb on the mat, come all the way near the body here. So really having that external rotation here of the shoulders. Keeping the thumb, making sure that the thumb isn't escaping here. So thumb on the ground. Three sets of 10 of these. Keep those thumbs in contact with the floor. And if it, when it gets difficult, just go a little bit slower. If there's uh, some difficulty in bringing the arms all the way up, I'll show you how to use a bolster to start developing that flexibility, flexibility in the shoulder. Use just a little bit of height. And we'll work here. And feel free to add more height if you need a little bit more. Keep the elbows very straight and make sure that you're not hyperextending that elbow. So stop right where um, your elbow is nice, nice and straight. And take a few breaths here. how far up you can take your hand. You can use a bolster or any height here. Okay, the second pose we're going to work on is starting to stretch through the sides of the body and then a little bit more of that external rotation and uh, movement of the wrist here. So I want to make sure that the support, the block, and so I'm going to place this part of the hand on this part of my head. So the hand is going to go here, 
with the fingers pointing up. So I don't want the hand sideways. I want it here. Here at the edge of the block, I have the middle of my upper arm there. Once I work on the block for a few minutes, I can also bring out a chair and um, start working on the chair. So again, placing the center of this upper arm, that point, right on the chair here, so that I'm not resting on my armpit, but I am on, sort of in the middle of that upper arm. I can start out with my legs bent, and then I bend the elbow, Place the palm of my hand right on the occipital part of the head. And then I can straighten the legs. So we're getting a nice lengthening here on the side of the body and in the arm. So trying to hold this exercise for at least 30 seconds and you can also break it down into three sets of 10 seconds and hold it for 10 seconds, come out and then come back in until you can hold it for a little bit longer. With this exercise, we're going to work on the hands and the wrists of a lot of problems that we have in the elbows or sometimes shoulders or hands. They're all connected. So by working the shoulders, we can really relieve the elbows and the wrists and the fingers. And so we strengthen the whole upper body. So putting two blocks on the wall here, we're gonna start out with fingers pointing up and you can just, you know, be in a comfortable position here. So step one, we come over just close to the block and fingers pointing out and then fingers down. Again, we can hook the pinky and then slowly Turn the hands around to fingers pointing in. And make sure here that these blocks are shoulder widths apart so that you don't have them very sp spread apart or too close together. So about shoulders width apart. Okay, so hands on the block. And I hold this for about a minute. Then I'll turn my hand around. So I have both hands. Um, turning fingers turning out and hold this for about a minute then I'm going to bring the hands in this position and I'm gonna hold for about a minute here too so what I do here is I the hands have a tendency of sliding out in the beginning if there's some tightness so bring the hands here and hook the pinky on the edges of the block so that your hands don't try to escape. All right, so extend the fingers. There's maybe a tendency of the fingers you wanna curl, so extend the fingers, hook that pinky. I'm gonna bring the hands so that the fingers are pointing in. Like making sure I'm not hyperextending my arms if I have that tendency. As I start improving, I can come up to a downward dog here. So straighten the legs, you can have your toes up and come down. Legs to the, uh, fingers to the side. And fingers pointing down, hook your pinky around the block. And really press the palms of the hands down into the block lengthen the fingers as much as you can okay and then hand fingers pointing in 